Moral nihilism is the view that nothing is intrinsically immoral or moral. This position, which implies the related position of moral skepticism, which is skepticism as to whether or not moral statements can be known, posits that all value statements are inherently subjective, and that what is right and wrong is simply a matter of human opinion and consensus. This view is rejected by most academics for various reasons. Uh, we should say what those reasons are. Still, many theists, for instance, assert that nihilism is a logical consequence of atheism. While I dispute their conclusion, that really isn't the topic of this video. Personally, I don't think I could accept nihilism. For me, moral nihilism is why I'm an atheist, because it's the ultimate skepticism, questioning of all authority, including what is right and wrong. Nihilism, although I admit it is more for emotional than philosophical reasons. While nihilism is, in my opinion, logically defensible, it is not humanly defensible. To say there is no evil in, for instance, mutilating a child, seems incongruous with reality and deeply disturbed. Well, that's an unnecessary value judgment and rather a straw person. To immediately jump to the conclusion that nihilism gives one carte blanche to go around mutilating children is rather an extreme argument. It's basically prejudicial. People can't even have a rational conversation if you're going to start your argument out that way. To say there is no beauty in being kind to a suffering innocent seems the same. Excuse me. Just because a person is a moral nihilist doesn't mean they don't see beauty in compassion. While it may be rational to say the virtues are not virtuous and they are simply socially constructed arbitrary values, doing so would be to deny a much deeper, more primal part of the human experience. No, it's not. It absolutely liberates it. Look, if you're a nihilist, everything is inconsequential. There is no right or wrong, and the world is open. You are completely liberated. I am completely liberated to make choices. See, I'm an existential nihilist. I'm also an optimist, an optimist existentialist. So I am completely liberated to make my own ethical and moral choices. But it's a personal decision, completely and utterly a personal decision. I'm not saying it's not informed by the experiences of others. I'm not saying that my experience as a biological organism and my experience as an intellectual and emotional being do not influence my ultimate decisions regarding morals, but it's completely freedom of choice. I don't do anything because I should do it. Now, there are instances, for instance, I'm not going to run stop signs because there might be a cop nearby, but there's another reason why I don't run stop signs. There might be another person coming the other direction. Now, my choice of morals as a nihilist is that uh, the lives of other people are valuable, but it's completely by choice. So I agree to obey those rules because we are all presuming that the other person is going to obey the rules too. Also, it's self-preservation because some people don't obey the rules, not out of any sense of nihilism, but because they refuse to take personal responsibility for their own lives. Nihilism is the ultimate acceptance of responsibility. I do things by choice, not because God told me, not because the cops told me, not because my mommy told me, not because the school told me. I do things by choice, and I question everything. So my choices are made based on informing myself, not because they told me to. If I don't mutilate a baby, it's because I consider the preservation of the species important. I consider inflicting pain unnecessary for the most part. Now, I'll bet, given the look of your clothing and your grooming and your room and the fact that you actually have a door that closes and whatnot, I'll bet that you're pretty middle class. I bet you've never had to kill anything. And I'm rural and I'm poor. I've had to kill for the greater good, either for food or because something was wounded or because something couldn't be sustained. And rather than having it suffer, it was better to kill it than to let it continue in suffering. 
So it's real easy to make moral choices and consider yourself superior because you haven't had other people's life experiences. If I don't kill, maim, mutilate, or harm something, I do it out of choice. I do it out of informed consent, not because somebody told me it's bad. To be human is, in some sense, to be moral. And to be amoral or not moral is to be inhuman. Okay, that's just... And you're saying that because what? That's popular wisdom? That's what everybody says? Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer is inhuman? That's total denial of who we really are as a species. People all the time kept saying Hitler was a monster. No, Hitler was a human being. By calling him a monster, we are separating ourselves from him as though he is not part of the species, as though what he did is not a capacity that each and every one of us has, and, and it removes our choice. Hitler was a monster, so therefore we don't have the choice to be that evil. Yes, we do. And we need to take personal responsibility for that. We need to accept the fact that we are all monsters as humans and do something about it consciously and with information and with skepticism. It's to deny one's humanity. I admit that morality or belief in morality requires a measure of faith and that someone with an unswerving commitment to... Why? I just outlined reasons why to be moral. Real pragmatic reasons for being moral. Why is faith required? It's not. In fact, if you are requiring faith in order to be moral, you are abdicating your personal responsibility for the choices you're making in your life and your impact on the rest of the world. Logic and reason could demolish it without much difficulty. Still, I, and apparently most philosophers who work in the field of ethical philosophy, are unwilling to reject it. Probably logic and reason are how I came to the conclusion to have morals and ethics. I don't make existentialist, nihilist choices solely based on emotion. I, ba I base them on logic and reason. And I am, I am a moral and ethical person. You notice I questioned that even as I said it? I'm a moral and ethical person because I do so consciously. It is free will choice. because it is such a fundamental aspect of being human and relating to one another. To put it bluntly, I don't think that morality is a question that can be answered by rational inquiry. But when... Well, I think you're wrong. And as far as morals being human, you know, I just recently saw a video on YouTube of a pig rescuing a baby goat from water. I see, uh, let me see, there's other examples of interspecies rescues and Oh, oh, geez, dogs will nurse kittens, cats will nurse puppies. It's not exclusively human. Other species do it too, and some of them not very highly evolved compared to the human brain structure. It's not exclusively human. Now, what we need to do is analyze those behaviors and ask, why would a pig rescue a goat from drowning? How does that benefit the pig? How does that benefit how does that benefit the propagation of DNA? What does that mean? What is empathy? And who has it and why? One that must be affirmed through the engaged perspective of living the human life. To ask why kindness is better than cruelty or why justice is better than atrocity seems as misplaced as asking why a sunset is beautiful. No, it's not. It's absolutely not. You have to question everything. In some cases, what appears to be cruel can be actually beneficial. And again, it has to be by conscious choice and it has to be well thought out. We need to live examined lives.
We need to examine why we are doing the things we are doing and take personal responsibility for our decisions and our actions. Or why home feels comforting. Or why a good friend is worth more than gold. Morality and right and wrong. If I had the choice between a good friend and gold and my only options for not just my personal survival, but the survival of others was to choose the gold, guess what I would do? And guess what I have done? Are simply human facts, social facts, and they can't be reduced to mathematical formulas or physical interactions or logical promulgations. That is a straw person. This isn't about mathematical formulas and chemical interactions, although it really kind of is because we're talking about the, uh, the proliferation of DNA and how it gets to replicate itself and how those chemical and molecular interactions create human beings and other species and how uh, and what's beneficial to that. Maybe my belief in morality is just faith. Yeah, it seems like it is, and it seems like you are only at a very superficial level that you have been told stuff about nihilism. And I would ask you to question who's telling you what about nihilism and what's in it for them. Do they come from a tradition that was heavily influenced by religion? Do they Are they academics who support other forms of authoritarian mindsets? Is it better for the status quo that you just believe rather than know? Maybe it's just as blind as the creationist belief in a global flood about 4,000 years ago, or the Catholic's belief in transubstantiation, the, the bread and wine turning into the body of Jesus. Maybe it is just completely faith-based. It's something that I just accept because I want to accept it. But see, I accept what I accept because I want to accept it, but mine is an informed choice. I'm not afraid to look at the fact that I, I am a potential killer. That's fine with me. I have every reason in the world to be a sociopath. I've got brain injuries. I was raised by a woman who was severely mentally ill and extremely abusive. All I saw modeled around me was lack of impulse control and extreme violence. I have every reason in the world to be a sociopath. I choose not to be. When you can get to the point where you can say you choose to be who you are and you choose not to be other than you are, then you have a less superficial understanding of morality. Until then, you're afraid of nihilism without even really understanding how liberating it is. But still, I feel that a belief in morality and living a virtuous life is necessary for the human experience. And it's a faith. It's a faith that I grant. But who decides what's virtuous and under what circumstances? It can be extremely relative. It can be extremely dependent on the experience at the time. And we tend to judge each other's experiences and personal decisions based on our own perspective without having any idea what it's like to walk in the other person's shoes. There is no universal morality. There is no universal virtue. That's nihilism. That I gladly embrace and I gladly practice. And really the whole talk of moral philosophy and trying to find a meta-ethical a meta basis for morality I think is misplaced. Once I experience a... It is when you're doing it your way. Morality just is. Who says? Random act of kindness, or the purring of a kitten, or the smile of a child, or the embrace of a lover, or the laughter of a friend. Okay, now you're conflating stuff. You're conflating what feels good with what is moral, what is ethical, and what is right. A kitten purring may feel good to you. I have a friend in Eastern Europe who let two cats get pregnant and have two litters of kittens. And the kittens were, and, and he videotaped it. And the kittens were cute. And all I could do during the whole video was worry about what was going to happen to those cats and what was going to happen to the mother cats 
people are going to keep getting pregnant and keep getting pregnant, risking infection, malnourishment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the purring of those kittens was not emotionally satisfying to me. It was troubling. So what feels good and what is moral are two different things. Now you're acting like some kind, I don't know the word for it, but the kind of people who make their moral decisions on what feels good. Do you have any idea how dangerous that is? You know, taking large amounts of heroin feels good. All my philosophical questions and ruminations on morality cease. I know. Bingo. You don't know diddly squat. You know what you feel? And that informs your morality? Fail, dude.